In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Nintendo 3DS emulator called Panda 3DS. It's still in development and has a long way to go, but it's super simple. And the latest update as of this video is their 2024 Christmas edition, which added a lot of new features. If you want to check out this page, I'll leave the GitHub in the description. Okay, let's head on over to panda3ds.com. The link to this page will be in the description below. Once you are here, go ahead and click on download Panda 3DS. Now you will see that this emulator is available for Windows, Mac, Linux, and Android. Now there are two different versions of this emulator. You have SDL, which does not have an interface, and you have QT, which does have an interface. So under platform, look for Windows QT and click over here under download Windows executable. And your download should start. Also, if you don't already have 7-Zip installed on your PC, then I will leave the link to this page in the description below as well. We will use this program to extract the emulator as well as our ROMs. So here's that Windows executable folder. I have moved it to my desktop. You guys can move it wherever you like, whether that be an SSD, external SSD, hard drive, or external hard drive. Now this folder contains our emulator, but first we have to extract it, and this is where we're gonna use 7-Zip. So once you have 7-Zip installed, all you need to do is right click on this folder, go to show more options, 7-Zip, and extract to Windows executable and you're gonna get a new folder containing all of your extracted files, so we no longer need the zip folder, so we can go ahead and right click and delete it. Now right next to that folder, I have another folder called 3DS Games. So I have Sonic Generations and Super Street Fighter 4 that need to be extracted. Now you can do these games one at a time, or you can do all of your games at one time. All you wanna do is highlight them, right click on them, go to show more options, 7-zip and extract here. Once your ROMs are extracted, you will see your new files, which are 3DS file types. This file type is playable in the emulator. Now you can go ahead and delete the zip files or you can keep them, it's up to you. Now let's head over to that Windows executable folder and this file right here will be the emulator. Let's open it. Now when you first get this emulator, you're gonna get this window that pops up behind the emulator or in front of the emulator. You don't need to see this so you can go ahead and minimize it. And I say minimize it because if you close out of it, it will close the entire emulator. At this point, if we want it, we could go ahead and load up a 3DS game and start playing. But if you do want to get to your settings at the top, if you go to emulation and go down to configure, you can get to your settings. Now one thing you may want to change if you're not getting great performance with this emulator is if you come down here to graphics and you change your GPU renderer. Right now, by default, mine is set on OpenGL. Since I have an Nvidia graphics card, OpenGL will give me the best performance. Now there is an option to change this to Vulkan, which Vulkan works better with AMD cards. I do not have a PC with an AMD card in it, so I'm not sure if that will become your default if you do have one. But if you do and it's still set on OpenGL, I would maybe change this to Vulkan. Also, this emulator does not have a graphics enhancement feature, which I'm pretty sure they will have in the future, but as of right now, they don't. Let's go ahead and exit out of this. So I have a PlayStation 5 DualSense controller connected to my PC through USB-C. For some reason in this latest build of this emulator, the Bluetooth for my PS5 controller and my Xbox Series controller will not work. And it's weird because even if I connect my Xbox Series controller using USB-C, it still won't work. Now I'm pretty sure this is something they will get fixed in the next update, but as of right now, it seems only my PS5 controller wired is working. If you guys have any other controllers besides the Xbox and PS5 controller and you get it to work, let me know in the comments. So let's go ahead and load up a game. Let's go up to file, load game, gonna locate my 3DS games which are on my desktop in that folder and I'll select Sonic Generations. Now if you want to use the touch screen, then you can use your mouse to control that. 
And I just want to show you guys that I am using a PlayStation 5 controller wired. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already.